goal scene has a heart as big as, well, Loxahatchee. It's in Palm Beach County, Florida, where he lives with his beloved menagerie of rescue animals. There's his three-year-old Mustang, Bo, a miniature horse, Abigail, three cats, a pair of alpacas, and a bull mastiff named Marley. Chris works in an office an hour away, but he chose to live in this remote place, largely so he could take care of his furry family. He's always been a big animal rights advocate, working with the Humane Society and other charitable organizations. Chris. Andrew. Andrew. What's up, brother? Pleased to meet you. This is my first time on a ranch. Uh, Loxahatchee, I didn't know they had places like this. This is beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Quiet, peaceful, just the way I like it. It's a large property as well. What's it, about 10, 15 acres or something? Something like that. It's beautiful. Well, I see animals everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I can hear Definitely. them as well. So you're obviously an animal lover. Absolutely. Come from a family of animal lovers? Absolutely. Your parents? Yep. Mom and dad? Yep. So what do you, what do you have on, this, on the ranch? Well, I have a bull mastiff. I have two horses and a bunch of cats. Bunch of cats. Yep. And uh, there's a lot of work on Obviously, keeping horses, I know it's quite a bit of work involved Oh, absolutely, there. yes. But it's a, it's a passion for you? I love doing it. So what do you love about having so many animals around? Well, I grew up with animals my entire life. So the being that I moved out here three years ago with all the extra space, uh, it was, gave me the opportunity to uh, take it to another level. Yeah. Adopt some more animals. You certainly have. The horse is not a, not a well, two horses is not, not the everyday, everyday sort of run-of-the-mill pet to adopt. but. I didn't realize you could adopt horses. I never, realized, I never thought about that. I think that's the most amazing thing. They, they just, on a space like this as well, they have so much land to roam around on. It's just like, they've got to be on cloud nine every day. Absolutely, I mean, there's strays of every kind of animal, from dogs, cats, even horses, alpacas. Yeah. So, you know, being that I had the extra space to take the opportunity to adopt them, just perfect. I hear a lot of knowledge in your voice about animals, so I'm sensing that you might also be a volunteer in an animal shelter or something. I, I work with uh, the Humane Society uh, in Broward County, uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, we try and get uh, pet owners to come out and adopt and make it fun as well. Yeah, just educating the general public is so important. and uh, Raising awareness. Yeah, and to make them think about adopting versus buying a pet. You know, oh, go and and adopt. With, give with all the strays, you know, and they're being put down every day with all the kill shelters. Yeah. You know, so it's very important that people understand that, you know, adopting a pet Hugely uh, critical. Very important. Yeah. Yes. You know, I know I've had many pets over the years, and I know the difficulty when you lose an animal as well. I don't know if you've experienced anything like that. Uh, unfortunately, I have. Three years ago, I used to live in the city where yep. I didn't have that much space, and I had a beautiful cat uh, named Kimba. Kimba. Who uh, escaped one day, and uh, unfortunately, I never got to see her again. She was hit by a car. Oh, no. So trying not to to have that happen. Yeah, that's such a, it's a, it's such a, a horrible feeling, like a sink, you get that sinking feeling when you find out the animal's gone missing, and it's yeah, that it's des heart -wrenching the feeling. desperation to try and find the animal. So, yeah. um, Well, we have some technology that I think will be perfect for you. Um, okay. We have a thing called microchipping. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. I've heard of it. But Operation Build is going to be uh, microchipping Marley, hopefully, for you. Awesome. Um, so that she doesn't go missing again. So, oh. Guys, tune in after the break. We've got some amazing technology coming up. Microchips provide more secure pet identification because tags can be easily removed. Earlier, we introduced you to Chris Goldstein, who lives in a ranch out in Loxahatchee, Florida, with a couple of horses, three cats, and his beautiful bull mastiff, Marley. Today, he's taking Marley to the VCA Hollywood Animal Hospital to get her microchipped, which will help protect her if she ever gets lost. Hello, I'm here for Molly's uh, microchip appointment. Okay, give me just a moment, we'll get you checked in and have that taken care of. Awesome. I'm Dr. Patterson, how are you? Great. This is Mike, my technician. Hi, Mike, how are you? <laughs> so, how's your baby doing at home? She's doing oh, good. Nice. Take a quick look at her. Is she on any medication? No, not as of right now. Doing well at home? Yes, she is. Good. So, we're going to do a microchip for her today? Okay. So, while Chris and Dr. Patterson get Marty ready for her procedure, I thought we'd take a minute to speak with Dr. Christine Royal from Merck Animal Health to find out about microchipping. Dr. Royal, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. So tell me, why should I, as a pet owner, get my pet microchipped? Well, one out of three pets will be lost at some point in their lifetime. And if they're not properly identified, greater than 90% of them will never make it home. So it's critical just to reunite a homeowner with their pet? 
Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine losing one of your pets at home? I have lost them several times. <laughs> and it's a sinking feeling, running around the neighborhood, trying to find the animal. Uh, and it's, you know, you don't know. And the longer you leave it, the, the harder it is to, to be reunited. So um, what exactly is behind the technology itself? So what you would do is take your pet to your veterinarian, just like you would for any other procedures such as vaccines. And the veterinarian would implant a microchip. The microchip is actually smaller than a grain of rice. That's tiny. Yes between your pet's shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. There's no pain associated with it. And that each microchip contains a unique 15 digit code. Mm -hmm. The pet owner would go to homeagain.com and create a pet profile. They can also call 1-888-HOME-AGAIN. And the importance of this is you wanna make sure that your pet's not only microchipped, but they're also registered. Because that's gonna be the key link that if your pet does go missing, yep. you need that contact information up to date. So in the event that your pet goes missing then, so let's say somebody finds, finds a stray dog and, and surrenders it to the authorities, whoever it might be, mm -hmm. they can ultimately just use a device like you have there to scan, scan the animal to pick up the information, which is in, then is logged in a database, so then the animal can be reunited with, its, with the owner. Absolutely. So they would just simply run this scanner over the animal, get the unique code, contact um, home again, and home again has a group of specially staffed specialists that are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that would work to reunite your pet with you. This Home Again microchipping and pet recovery service has actually been around for over 17 years. We've worked to reunite over a million pets with their pet families. So besides microchipping, are there other specific benefits to the Merck Home Again program? Once your pet is microchipped and registered, that information will stay in the database forever. Your job as a pet owner is to make sure the contact information stays up to date. Mm -hmm. But some additional things that go along with an actual membership are these two million pet rescuers that will work to help reunite your pet with you. We also have access, if, you are, if your pet's ever found more than 500 miles away, which can happen, yeah. the Home Again Pet Recovery Service will actually pay up to $500 to reunite you with your pet. An additional service that I think is huge for pet owners is we actually have access, or you as a member would have access 24 hours, seven days a week to an ASPCA emergency licensed veterinarian. So let's say you're sitting at home and your dog eats a whole entire chocolate bar. And it's like 10.30 at night. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, you would be able to call the veterinarian, talk with them to figure out what you can do until you can go see your veterinarian. So they're there for emergency services. And that's usually, that phone call alone would cost about $65. So this is way more than just being microchip. This is, this is a very comprehensive package that's being offered to a pet owner. I think it's, a, it's an amazing idea. I, I can't imagine why pet owners wouldn't have the microchip. Um, it's just the worst feeling when you do lose an animal. Um, the technology seems so simple. Um, you can travel, the pet can go overseas. For instance, this, this technology is familiar to other countries as well. Absolutely. It's a universal microchip, which really sets it apart. It's a, a great idea. Um, I know that Chris is very excited to get Marley treated, so I'm wondering where, uh, where we are uh, in that. So let's check in with Dr. Patterson and see if Marley's ready for her microchip. So basically what we're going to do, we're just going to sterilize the area with a little bit of um, alcohol. Then we'll insert the microchip right in between her shoulder blades and it'll take a few seconds and she'll be all done. Awesome. Is it going to hurt? Um, there should be no pain. Um, it's just like getting a vaccine. So um, it'll be a quick, easy procedure for her. Awesome. Let's do it. Just and make sure the microchip's in place. Looks like everything's all set. She's all done. So she's all set now. Um, okay. Basically what will happen is VCA will register her in their um, system. What you need to do is go online to homeagain.com and update all of your personal information, um, your phone number, address, so that they're able to contact you in the event that she does get lost. Um, awesome. Hopefully not, but you know you need to keep that information up to date so that they can find you if she has any problems. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doc. No problem. Nice to meet you. Bye, girl. That was easy. 
looks like Chris and Molly are in excellent hands with Dr. Patterson here at the VCA Hollywood Animal Hospital. Next, we're going to check in with Chris out of the ranch to find out how he can keep all his animals safe and clean at the same time. Most shelters have already chipped the dogs and cats they offer for adoption, but make sure you ask at your local shelter. The Operation Build team is not done yet. Stay close.